Welcome to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast, where world-changing spiritual entrepreneurs come to deeply awaken the power within to bring forth their greatest purpose, to create massive awakened impact for millions of souls around the planet, while enjoying being in tune with all life and real wealth in all aspects of their lives. I'm your host, Daniel John Hanneman. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad to be here with you. I've got an amazing guest. We're here at the City Summit here in L.A., and I'm so grateful to be here with you. We've got uh, this amazing uh, person, soul here, Pat, uh, and we just we just met, and she, the things I'm beginning to understand from her and what she has to share here at this event are amazing, and so I'm looking forward to just diving right in. So, Pat, I'm just going to go ahead and tell them a little bit about you first. Yes. So, Pat Alva Cricker is an award-winning business uh, consultant, author, and speaker. She speaks on leadership and self-care. She's the author of El- Elation, Seven Secrets of a Happy Woman. Uh, woman. And Pat consults with women entrepreneurs who want clarity on the best path for scaling their business so they can create a life they love, experiencing more financial freedom. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> we all want more of that, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So. So Pat, let's just again dive right in. I am talking to you before we jumped on and I just really just get such an appreciation of how dropped in you are. Like you just really got a connection uh, with, with Source. And I would love to hear more about, you know, about that connection with Source mm-hmm. that you have, mm-hmm. how you have cultivated that to be successful yourself. Mm-hmm. And then we'll get into how you help other people to do that as well. So let's start yeah, with let's you. Start. Tell us yes. about you first. Wow. Yes. So, um, yes. Uh, what I've learned in, in my experience is the more connected I am to my higher self and to the universe, it's easier to live my days and be more successful. Because in doing that, I live the path of least resistance. Mm-hmm. And when I allow, and I am grounded, and I just ask the questions, I know that my higher self, I know that the universe is going to provide me with the shortest path to the things that I desire in my life. And so I've taken these practices and just made myself open. I do meditation and really have um, connected with myself in a way that integrates both my left and right brain because I come from a very technical background. And what I've learned is when I connect my analytical and my spiritual intuitive side, I have a more successful business. And most of my clients are technical. And in the culture of a technical company, they don't really value intuition. And so the women have these strong sense of intuitions that are not really valued. And what I'm seeing is as they leave corporate and start their businesses, they can continue to stay on the analytical side Mm -hmm. and they don't bring their intuitive and their heart into their business. Mm -hmm. So I help them integrate Mm -hmm. their analytical side with their intuitive and, and their heart to run a successful business. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, I don't really, I haven't had a guest on that really put it that way, that they do that. Mm-hmm. But we have a lot of guests I've talked to about getting people out of their head, right? Mm-hmm. So we always want, need more of that. But someone that really can, because you really speak to the analytic mind and says, yeah, we'll connect uh, the this the left hemisphere with the right and the heart and everything. That's amazing. Now, how do you, tell us something a little bit about how you do that with people. I'd love to hear about that. Well, one of the things that I have learned is that it's very important to tap into the, the talents and the gifts that they were given mm-hmm. along with their experience. So I spend time up front identifying what those talents are and where their experience comes from so that we can take that and create offerings in their business that nobody else has. So I take them through an assessment and then I you know, take them through a meditation and we go through a variety of exercises of tapping into what they think they, their gift is and how we bring that to the world. And we do that up front and then from that platform we create their visibility plan, their offerings, how they want to show up in the world, what they want to speak about and it all comes from a heart-centered place mm-hmm. you know, within them. Yeah. 
Wow, wow, that's great. Yeah, we talk about meditate and make money a lot here. So that's uh, that's so yeah. beautiful. We need more of that. We need more coaches, more way showers to help others to be able to do that mm -hmm. for our spiritual rock stars up and coming here. Yeah. So, so how... Um, so how is it that, tell us a little bit about your background, like w how did you get stuck in your head and your anal <laughs> analytical ways and, and your past lives? And <laughs> I mean, literally I know, like yeah, this, you know, we'll probably exactly. stay to this life, but, yeah, like, exactly. yeah, but you know what I mean. You know, it's, um, when, when I was growing up, mm -hmm. I was very intuitive. Mm -hmm. And I found that my friends and family would come and ask me for mm -hmm. advice and situations that were going on. And I would just, you know, sit with the question and the answer would come. And mm -hmm. I ran and I did that for many years. And then when I got into corporate, I found that, that what they really valued was show me the data of how the solution that you're proposing makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when I saw a situation and I had a different feeling about the way we would go, you know, the fact of, well, Daniel, uh, my intuition tells me blah, 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 and mm -hmm. you would lose credibility just like that. Right. And so I started stuffing that Yeah. because it wasn't valued and I, I would lose credibility if I started really tapping into my intuition. And uh, I went to a healing session uh, several years ago and the gal says, the guides want me to open your crown chakra because you have the ability to channel. Yes, and your channel. A, you and, are a channel. Absolutely. And you, and it's time for you to step into that. Mm -hmm. So with that uh, acceptance and pretty much permission, I started to really start bringing that into mm -hmm. my conversations with women more and more. Mm -hmm. And uh, through a lot of the through a lot of the coaching sessions, I will channel what they need to hear. Perfect. And so I'm just allowing that. Yeah. Oh, that is so magnificent uh, because there are so many people who are sensitive and empathic that are listening in right now that are like, wow, they also have stuffed down their inner knowing and what they know to be true and they don't speak up, in, whether in the business environment or even in their own lives or in their, yes. you know, in their businesses, uh, you know, that they're trying to, you know, make a difference doing whatever it is that they do. And so that is something that I feel like even the people that, like myself and you, that have taken steps forward big, in a big way there, at the same time, it's like it continues to be something that we have to monitor. So for me, it's like I have to remember, you've got to just keep being yourself. I mean, no matter if people think you're crazy or not, it doesn't matter. You just have to show up, be yourself. And then somehow what happens is I find, and I'd love to hear your reflection as magically things just work out all of a sudden like people may not always agree but like things great things happen you end up being where you're supposed to be with your business or with the people you're meant to be and all that sort of stuff so can you tell us more about that for mm -hmm. yourself and the people you work with yeah. yeah i totally agree with 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 you daniel because um the way that i see it is you have talents and gifts that nobody else has mm -hmm. and if you present yourself in the world as you are, understanding mm -hmm. that you have something to give, mm -hmm. I tell you, we are all waiting for you. Right. We are all waiting for what you have because you are very unique. And just like all the women that I work with, their, their talents and their gifts are very unique to them. And so we talk a lot about just show up who you are. Just right. be yourself and that in itself will attract the appropriate customers, clients, the resources, and everything you need to be successful by just being yourself. Exactly. And I, I'm so grateful that you're, we have you and so many others that are all that are sharing that. It's, we've, we've been conditioned to think that we have to be a certain way, right? So we have to fit some kind of mold in order to be successful. And one of those things is, get, yeah, give me the data. How does this actually make sense? 
Well, when you're asked to do certain things from your guidance, they don't always make sense. Correct. When, I mean, I know people who have done incredible things. Uh, we always talk about like different people that are already spiritual rock stars in a really quantum way, like Eckhart Tolle. Mm -hmm. Go sit on a park bench. That's a good business plan, <laughs> right? He makes more money than all of us combined, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you know, essentially. So he, he's doing massive, massive impact. Yeah. Go sit on a park bench. Okay, that doesn't sound like a business plan. But that's the way this, uh, the consciousness is evolving into this. Yes, it is. It understands that yes, this is. is, this is the way, this is like, to, like asking like the most amazing AI you could ever imagine. Like, what am I supposed to be doing right here? Okay, here's the answer. You may not know why it makes sense, but we got you covered. <laughs> and you exactly. just go with it, right? Yeah. yeah so, uh, and, and just to seeing how that works out. So. Tell us more about uh, the way you've seen like people trusting like for yourself mm -hmm. and others like trusting that that voice within and just like no, everybody's going to think I'm crazy. But I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. Like give me yeah, an example. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so when I uh, started my business, I was coaching women in engineering and IT because that's my background mm -hmm. and when I retired I had this small voice mm -hmm. telling me you need to make a difference for women entrepreneurs you need to mm -hmm. make a difference and I just kept coming coming mm -hmm. and coming and I finally said okay I'm gonna listen mm -hmm. I'm gonna take your lead and I'm going to start helping women entrepreneurs step up in a big way and create a business that uh, that they love mm -hmm. and as soon as I accepted that calling mm -hmm. things started aligning the coaches that i needed starting aligning the speaking engagement starting aligning the clients started coming and it was because i just was still and chose to follow what my intuition was trying to tell me all along and mm -hmm. went with it mm -hmm. and when i work with women i always i ask them i said well what is your intuition trying to tell you right. you know what is your heart saying in regards to this and when they tap in and they say, oh, well, my heart says, or my intuition says, or I feel this, I said, well, that's what we're going to go with. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen it propel my business, and I see how women are uh, transitioning to that level of trust, and it allows them to not feel like they have to listen to everybody else, not go to the gurus, not go to all these classes, not buy all these programs for right. the answer on the outside. Right. When, in essence, you and I know that the answer is on the inside. Right. And that's that's where I go with them. Yeah, I mean yeah. it starts in the inside. Yeah. We're want to integrate all of it. So yeah, of course, you guys might say it's time to do a Facebook campaign. It's time to do that Ooh. funnel thing, or <laughs> exactly. it may come in, right? But we have to start with that foundation. And what happens for most people that have shut down that intuitive part is they've gotten so up in their head, they just feel like, oh, it's, it's all about like, you just need the information, then you just need to implement, you know, maybe you need to work really hard, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And or we need to do it their that. way. Right, how right, they, said, they know. If you right? do it this way in 60 days, you will need right. making blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right, right. And we have to listen to this still voice that says, yeah, that's not gonna work for me though, because I can feel it, I can, I can trust that. Yes. I know that's, that's yes. true. So tell us more about um, the magnificent results. Uh, you know, the magnificent results, you to call them our, our majestic results. Yeah, okay, majestic they're magnificent results. too, right? Okay. I love that, I, I love apologize. that too. apologize, we're on the fly today. So yes, majestic, majestic results. results, tell us yeah, more about what are majestic results, results so, that um, kind of unfold from this right. way of being that you're talking about. Yeah. So I do have a program called Majestic Results mm -hmm. Program. It is for women entrepreneurs who have a big vision Mm -hmm. that they need uh, the guidance to actually create the project plan to make it happen. Mm -hmm. I'm a certified project manager, and so I can see the big picture for women, and when mm -hmm. they come and they say, I have this big vision, and I say, okay, if we do this project, is this going to be a life changer in your business? And if they say yes, then we start getting clear on what the outcome is, and then mm -hmm. I help them develop the project plan, mm -hmm. and I hold them accountable. and in 90 days, they meet that, they come to the delivery of that project in a way that they never expected. Wow. So it is a lot of fun and the results are there. 
Definitely. So that's that practical side. Mm-hmm. So you're, yeah, we're going to tune into the guides. Mm-hmm. Okay, now this is what we need to do from that, right? And then, and, and then the you pieces, always ask yeah. that those questions. Mm-hmm. You know, what is your what is your intuition say, mm-hmm. or, or how does this feel for you mm-hmm. uh, when you look at this project plan? Does it feel like it's something that you can do? Right. And then, so if they say yes, then we go with it. If they say no, then okay. So what are your is your intuition telling you that this part of this plan? doesn't fit right and then once we get to a, cl- a place where we're all clear and we feel comfortable with it then we move forward so mm-hmm. I bring it in into all our discussions as tapping in even in a technical project mm-hmm. which a lot of them have yeah mm-hmm. Wow Wow so you help a lot of people who are what coaches and uh, uh, I like do have coaches or, uh-huh. I have women entrepreneurs Mm-hmm. Uh, who are in construction and mm-hmm. IT and real estate. Mm-hmm. And the reason I chose those industries is because as a system engineer for IBM, mm-hmm. those are the customers that I supported and provided yeah. technical solutions for. So right. I got to know those industries very well mm-hmm. and decided that why not bring that expertise to these women mm-hmm. in these industries, specifically because I know that they're totally working out of the left side of their brain. Right. <laughs> and that if I, I know that I can make a difference in them, if yeah. I can just, it will be open enough to let me help them bring in their intuitive and, and move on in that, in those, those technical fields. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, great. And then, you know, one of the things I like to do is to give you a chance to share where people can learn more about you. Mm-hmm. Where can they where can they do that? You have this, uh, yeah, you, you have uh, uh, like uh, a free gift or something. I do I know have a free gift. About, right? Thank you for asking. <laughs> I do have a free gift. So I have my, uh, the gift for the women entrepreneurs who are out there listening that are spiritually based. I have a gift and it's five steps to growing your business consciously. Mm-hmm. And it's a free guide. You go to build it to scale, B U I L D I T T O S C A L E dot com, and download that that amazing um, e guide. To learn more about me, you can go to www.majesticcoachinggroup.com. And I, you know, I give complimentary uh, build mm-hmm. to scale uh, mm-hmm. complimentary sessions. Mm-hmm. And when women work with me, they, they uh, go away with three strategies mm-hmm. that will elevate their business for either productivity, profits, or visibility. So the, the, this uh, gift and the, the complimentary session tied together will really create majestic results for your listeners. Wow. Thanks. Thank you so much. And one of the things I do do, uh, if it's okay, is I like to tune in to people for a minute or two yeah. as part of the show to share some downloads I'm getting mm-hmm. on, on your path. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that briefly. Please. Okay, awesome. So my uh, my sense is I'm connecting in, just even meeting you. It's just that, again, I just really wanted to presence you as a really a deep knower, a deep channel, that you have a really deep well of connection and that the more you're willing to even trust that more, that you even see more amazing things happening with what you're doing. So just it'll just keep taking it to the next level. We all got a next level, right? Yeah, we do. So I see that for you and I feel I feel like you even giving being bolder and sharing that side even more in an amplified way, like from stage and whatnot, just cha- like literally channeling, like <laughs> yeah. literally, I'm channeling right now yeah. these messages, mm-hmm. and it's coming from Archangel Raphael or something or whatever yeah. it may be, right? Mm-hmm. So I get that, and I feel like you will, you as a huge connector, and it's going to open up energy and insights for people. And then you have all the other stuff to come in and support people. So it's a really, really brilliant um, combination that you have all that. It's it's quite unusual that someone has like a certified project manager and then they've got this huge ability to connect at the same time. So uh, thank you so much for thank what you you're doing. Thank and you. Uh, you have... You just have uh, such a, a ability to, to do do all that stuff. So uh, thank you for the contribution you're making and helping people to you know rock it out there, be those spiritual rock stars. So all thank right. you so much. Yes. <laughs> thank you, and I appreciate and I accept that message. Okay. Thank you. She approves of this message. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. I take it in. <laughs> all right. All right, everybody. Keep tuning in, and we'll keep on rocking it here on Spiritual Rock Star Podcast Show and. All our love to you. Goodbye for now. You're listening to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast. Stay tuned for our next upcoming new episodes each Wednesday and Saturday. 
Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review to help us to serve you best. As a reminder, you can get your free Meditate and Make Money meditation at www.yoursacredpurpose.com to rock your sacred purpose. Goodbye for now, everybody.